What's up y'all, it's Bess and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to show y'all how to turn this wig into this. Y'all, I really cut up with this wig. So this is how it looked in the before. This is pre-wash and everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is wash it. So I just went ahead and stopped the sink up and put some water in it. And at first I conditioned the wig off just to get some of the product off of the lace. So that's what I'm doing right here, just putting that in there. The next thing I'm going to do is putting my wig in the actual water. And this is just me sinking the wig in there and i pretty much just fast forwarded me just washing the wig this is why i ended up putting soap in the wig and right here is where i'm brushing the wig out so we can blow dry it we just want to get all of the knots out so that's what i'm doing here and this is why i just start blow drying the wig yeah this wig was so freaking cute like i was upset but this is where the wig is getting a little bit more dry and i'm just brushing it through so you guys can see it's already looking a lot better than i had it before so we're pretty much halfway there then the next thing i did was curl the wig this took me a little minute like to do i'm not even gonna lie to y'all because i did entirely way more curls than i had planned so i really had to fast forward this a lot but it ended up taking me literally two freaking days y'all and y'all gonna see towards the end because I tried a lot less, but it still turned out good. So just fast forwarding these curls and clips that I put in them for them to stay up because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get them done overnight. So this is me just finishing up the curls in the morning. And pretty much right now, I'm just going to brush them out just to get the full effect of how the hair is actually going to look because I was not keeping them curls like that. I really wish I could have, but I didn't. And so this is just me just brushing the hair out. And this is just me just fixing the hair. I just wanted to make sure that it was flat at the top and didn't look too bumpy or crazy. And that right here is the finishing product. Like I'm actually really proud of this wig. So the next step is the installation. Y'all pretty much know these steps, but just getting my wig cap on, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I struggled with this wig cap so bad because I did not have the correct scissors, but y'all gonna see that in a second. So I just put my glue on my legs and just blow dry that. I tried to blow dry it clear, but I was very impatient by this time. And this is the struggle that I pre-warned you guys about. It was actually terrible. This actually took like 10 minutes. It's just, you know, editing. But the next thing I'm gonna do is pretty much get that sprayed all the way down before i apply the wig onto my head and i'm gonna make sure that i put some makeup on there get some makeup that matches your skin tone i wasn't home at the moment so the skin tone that was used for the makeup is pretty much not mine so the next thing i'm gonna do is put the wig on my head once i've let that glue dry clear i pretty much did not do that because like i said this took me two days so at this point i was just ready to get this wig on my head I promise y'all I'll be a lot more patient, but I was over it. <laughs> so this is just me trying to make this um, lace look a little bit less ashy because it is red. So of course it was a little bit harder to hide in the beginning, but you know, just trust the process y'all. And like I said, I did not wait for my glue to dry white. Please do not ever do this. Just be patient. Don't be like me. So yeah, it looks terrible right now, but I promise y'all I got it. I got it down. Just trust the process. Okay. So the next thing I did is put my lace band on and when I put that on that's when I started really fixing the hair to my head because the mannequin hair and my head are two different things like let's be for real so here I am recurling the front of my head because I realized I've curled them the wrong direction to where I wanted them to face so this is me just redoing it obviously I'm struggling real bad like I said y'all <laughs> mentally I'm not even there right now but this is how I did the first one and I ended up doing the other one. And I know like on camera, it looks like I'm literally doing them the same direction they look like they were already in. I promise y'all, I'm not the Lulu. I am, but not in this case. So once I finished curling that, I pretty much just, you know, curled that out a little bit. And I ended up making those two curly pieces in the front bangs, but y'all are gonna see that towards the end of the video, or like towards the results. So I take the band off and obviously it's ashy right now, y'all. Like I said, trust the process. I say, so we get in there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add more makeup and spritz on my lace. So first I did the spritz so it could be like a clearer like finish. As y'all can see, it's starting to look a little bit better. It ain't there yet, obviously, because we need a lot more makeup. But this is just me spritzing it down so it could blend in a lot better. And it's me going in with alcohol to take some of the stuff off my forehead. I did a terrible job. I'm not going to lie. But this is the wig after I put makeup on it and everything. And this is the ending result when I've turned it into bangs. Because I like the bangs a lot better. 
as y'all can see with the lace it's definitely giving oil lace so i think i did pretty good thank y'all for watching this video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on all platforms at bestie Naela.